Hello, friends. It's chapter 19. So, here's your overview. Uh, they go into school, and someone throws paint on Abby. Because they all heard what the shrieking, crazy guidance counselor lady said. And I guess that was a repercussion? Uh, so, the guy who throws paint on her, James, like, totally punches him and owns him like the badass that he is. Well, then they all get caught by school security, and they're taken to the principal's office. And the principal sees paint all over the place, and it's like, what the fuck? And, like, literally, he's, like, screaming crazy shit. Uh, like, this is legit insane at this point. Like, you just don't do this. But, yeah, and they tell him, like, well, you know, it's because this lady said this, and they think that. And he's like, oh, that's not even true. The, the person who did this is behind bars. That's a lie. The police already cleared this. Oh, you fucking kids and it's just like out of his mind and shit and then he yells at the other kid who threw the paint and he's like you're gonna clean this floor you little idiot i think he actually says you little yeah he does say you little idiot i'm looking right at it there it is wow okay neat and so he then as they have to go to class because they have to leave the principal's office and now abby's totally fine she was mortified and terrified and all this other stuff but uh yeah, no, now they have to go to class, and she's totally fine, and she she hugs him and call, says she's going to start a fashion trend or whatever because of this paint thing, and then calls him hubby, and he's just like, hubby. Calm the fuck down, James. Seriously. So, <laughs> then there's this huge announcement about how this rumor's all bullshit, and you damn kids need to stop that, and... Miss Robertson, the guidance counselor, get to my office right now! And that's it. And, yeah, okay. So then he has to go give a report, and Mr. Hansen's like, oh, you got an A+. And he's like, yeah, I'm just kind of out of it, because, you know, complicated, and that lady and my girlfriend and stuff, and he's like, oh, she's horrible, I hope she gets fired. Because... Yeah, sure, that's what happens. And... So then they go back to P.E. Because we have to have P.E. class every other day. Um, you know. That's the only class in this school. And... They're... The thing is, they have to play basketball. And you either play, or you have to be like a cheerleader. You have to sit on the sidelines and be like, yeah! And so he plays... James uh, plays, and Abby's a, ch a cheerleader. I bet you didn't see that coming. I bet you were so fucking surprised, huh? And then, they go home. They have to get on the bus, and he has a moment of looking at Davis's old seat, and just, oh, the sadness. And, and she's like, but are you okay? And he's like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> and that's that's what happens in that chapter. That's that's what we went through. So this this crazy woman's outburst which has obviously been heard by the entire faculty. She didn't get in trouble for that. Like immediately, which you absolutely would. Like, immediately. But okay, whatever. We'll just, you know... Whatever, you know? It's only after the paint gets thrown that we have a problem. And and then, uh, you know, that's that's when the real problem is. And, again, um, um... Minor drama leading up to slice of life, total happiness, doing all the fun things that we do, like, because we're totally cool teenagers and totally cool high school and totally cool USA makes me immediately think that something horrible is going to happen. But, there's a caveat to this. There's only one more chapter to this book. The next chapter is the last one. So, uh... That's where shit's going to get weird, I just feel it. And... I, I don't really know what to expect... But it's got to go out with a bang, because you got one chapter to wrap up all this shit. 
You got one chapter to make sense of any of this and to fix whatever problems and to tie up whatever loose ends you feel like tying up. And I, I don't know, man. I don't know if you can do it. I don't know. But I guess we're going to find out. Oh, this, this whole thing has been such an experience. This whole thing has gone back and forth from being possibly the most amazing thing I've ever read to possibly the most insane thing I've ever read to possibly the most infuriating thing I've ever read. And I really just don't know what else to say. That little remark, because Onision's not very good at foreshadowing, that Abby makes calling him hubby, they're totally going to get married, aren't they? And she's pregnant, isn't she? Because they have sex a lot. But, see, in a lot of his other stories, there's a thing about this, too. And I think Onision has an impregnation fetish. Because there's a lot of stuff about, like, not using condoms or protection of any kind. And also, if you didn't know two things. One, that that was a thing. And two, that Onision probably has it. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm just going to put that in your brain because this is in mine, so welcome to the fucking party. But also I'm speculating and <sighs> terrified about what we're about to read in this next chapter. I don't even know what to expect. I'm still here and don't know what to expect. We are one chapter away from the end of this fucking book, and I still don't know what could possibly happen. I will say that, Greg. I will say that for you and your writing ability. I literally don't know what could possibly happen next. You definitely are the master of fucking weird-ass cliffhangers, because when anything goes, literally anything could happen. It could be anything from they simply graduate to she's pregnant to they're married to fuck it. They got abducted by aliens and now they have laser swords and they're in space learning how to be fucking Jedi. These are all possibilities. I mean, let's not, let's not get that confused. These are possibilities. If you've listened to any of the other of these videos, you know that that's fucking true. I, I really just, I really don't know what could, I really don't. I, I just, oh, it has broken me. But there is one chapter and I can see the light. I'm going to get out of this. Much like Andy Dufresne, I have crawled through a river of shit and I will emerge victorious. So, holy fucking balls. That's where we are, kids. I really hope that you are enjoying this series because it's been a fucking weird one. And I can say that it's definitely at least been entertaining. Of all the fucking things it could be, entertaining is the top. Because, Lord, whatever else could possibly happen. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. I, I honestly, if if this was a live thing, it's not. It's not a live stream. But I can honestly say that if this was a live thing, at this point, I would start asking you to take bets about what you think is going to happen. If you've already seen other people's, you know, reviews, you probably already know at least the broad strokes of how this ends. Um, but, yeah, if you don't, and you haven't seen that, and you don't know anything like that, just, you know... It takes a day or two for these to come out. Every other day is how I've been releasing them. I assume I'm still doing that in the future. Uh, make a little note. Write it down somewhere. Put a, put a little note on your desktop and your computer and your phone. Write a little piece of paper. Stick it somewhere. How do you think this is going to end? And then when that video comes out, open up that little piece of paper. And see if you are right. We'll call it an experiment. It'll be one we do together. By the time these come out, I will totally have forgotten about this, but you won't. So, you know, that's the other part of the experiment. My terrible memory versus the weird call-out shit that I'm asking you to do. So, hey, 
Cool. All right. But seriously, though, actually do that right now. Th this video is almost over. <coughs> Sorry. This video is almost over, and when we actually do end it, or when I end it, because there's no we, it's just me in here, uh, do that. Take the time, if you haven't already, take the time and make a little note somewhere of how you think this book is about to end. Because... I don't know how it's going to end, like at all. I can't even begin to predict it because of how absolutely fucking random Onision's writing is. But I know that I'm interested in seeing what's going to happen. I know that it's going to be a thing. Oh boy. One more chapter. Here we fucking go. I love you all so very much, and thank you for watching these. If you're enjoying this, you know, YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!